Hello, Ashton. How are you? Welcome. I'm good. How are you, Father? I'm doing great. Where are you calling us from? I'm calling you from San Diego, California. Very good. Great. Uh, I'm here good to with... see you, Ashton. Philip Patrick good here. Good to see you too, Father. <laughs> Great. Well, um, yeah. Tell us, you know, how things are going for you. Um, are you what are you doing? College? You're working? What are, what are you doing right now? Yeah. Uh, currently, I'm I'm going to college in San Marcos down here uh, in San Diego. Um, and my question is actually related to that, uh, to college life. Mm. Um, I've been dealing with like uh, the struggles that people are going through and like the different things that you can be peer pressured to in college. Um, for example, drugs and alcohol, like an underage drinking. I mean, I was wondering how I could combat that and be able to um, relieve myself of it without coming across like rude or anything. Sure, great. That's a great question. And and tell us how long have you been into college? How how many years? Uh, so this is going to be my second year your going se- into it. Your second yeah, year. Yeah, this fall. Great. And were you able to um, kind of come into college with some friends from your area, or uh, are you new to that area in college? Uh, how is that? Um, so I did have a few friends that are going to that college before, and I also uh, have made a few that are, um, Mm. good influences. Um, but I'm also surrounded by a lot that, that I don't want to surround myself with. Right. Good. Well, what you're describing is something that is very typical for a lot of, uh, college students. They, uh, they move away from home, they go to maybe a different city or the same city, and then they're in a new environment because they're not maybe anymore with their friends from, from high school or from uh, their Mm -hmm. area. And uh, and sometimes they they get invited to um, do something or so go somewhere, and the temptation is to try to kind of um, kind of fit in, right? And so um, something that is really important, I think, uh, is that we keep our priorities um, set for for our lives. First of all, first of all, um, God, and second, staying um, in touch with with family, and, and then we go to school certainly to get a an education, and uh, there at school to try to. Um, you know, uh, stay in touch with good friends or make good friends that we can do things uh, with, right? And uh, right. in regards to other people that we interact, I think a good principle is that we, we need to relate and deal with them um, and try to somehow bring them, them closer to Christ, uh, right. but not to the extent that they will draw us away, we can say, from, from Christ, right? Right. Right. Yeah, I think uh, what Father Martin's uh, point is very good. Uh, the, f- the friends you surround yourself with is very important. And uh, some, you may have to uh, foster that relationship. And others, sometimes it, it just dwindles away because they're encouraging yeah. to things you don't want. Now, one thing I would say is, um, uh, first of all, uh, your priorities, what Father Martin said, is uh, crucial, right? So if you think you want to say no, if, if they invite you to a party that you know there's going to be drinking and it's many parties are like for drinking, for drug right. abuse, you know, not to have a party and it happens to be that there's dr- drugs or alcohol. So just mm-hmm. say no. And if it comes across, I mean, try to be polite, but better to be uh, to say no than to be polite if you want. Right. So uh, right. if, if ca- bad comes to worse and you need to. Sorry, man, I'm leaving. Leave, you know, because you don't want to get involved in a situation where then you you cannot come out and you feel forced to do something you don't want to do and then right. you said and underage drinking and you know whatever is illegal and stuff and but sometimes it things that are wrong are legal like now in california you know you have uh, recreational marijuana being sold right. everywhere and mm-hmm. i think it's something you should stay away from you know because yes. under that the influence of that drug you can do things you would never do when you're in your bright mind right right yeah and then i also Go ahead, go ahead. I also get the where they tell you like they won't peer pressure you into it, but then you do show up and they still it, you still get peer pressured into it. And mm-hmm. it's really hard when you're one of the only ones that's that's living like that and doesn't want to participate in it. So I, I think it is smarter to not go. Of yeah. course. And then one last thing I think that could help us in those situations is that I mean, you can share with the, these friends, uh these people that you know, these acquaintances, other things that are good and healthy that you like doing like uh you like let's say um you like going hiking or you like um surfing and so somehow you can say yeah uh, this is what i do usually um this is something that i like like doing so you may say hey you know uh, you know i I really can't go because i you know i'm planning to go on a hike tomorrow i want to wake up 
you know, a right. good a good time, you know, like and so they yeah. say may say, Oh wow, you know, this this guy likes going hiking or surfing and they may be interested on, on something like that, uh, and they may um be willing maybe to join you for something like that. Right. right? So um just also to share other healthy things that you do so um they have an opportunity to uh to join you or to at least think that there are other possibilities beyond mm-hmm. what they are doing in terms of uh you know just being uh, friends with others and doing things that are really fun but right. um, that I think that's a key thing uh sometimes we get the impression that the only way to have fun is if we get drunk or get high mm-hmm. and that is wrong and I mean r- wrong it's not true right so there's right. hundreds of other ways to have fun without drugs or alcohol and you have to be a witness to that and they will respect you for that they will appreciate and they will actually follow you i'm sure you know right yeah so one great action thank you for calling us really um uh, appreciate your your time and um well, we'll pray for you and for your friends there um uh, at school and um well have a great day and, and god bless you thank you so much Father. god bless you, you have a good one take, take care. care thank you bye <laughs>